Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Jahannam is the Islamic concept of hell, or a place of punishment for those who commit sins and wrongdoing in the afterlife. It is a central element of Islamic beliefs about what happens after death, as described in the Quran and the Hadiths. Here are some key aspects and details about Jahannam. Purpose of Jahannam Jahannam serves as a place of retribution and punishment for individuals who have committed serious sins and have not sought forgiveness or repented during their earthly lives. It is a place where individuals are held accountable for their actions. Descriptions of Jahannam Islamic texts provide vivid descriptions of Jahannam. It's often portrayed as a place of intense heat and fire, with flames fueled by the sins of its inhabitants. The suffering and pain in Jahannam are described as excruciating and everlasting. Levels or degrees Islamic tradition teaches that Jahannam has varying levels or degrees of punishment, with the severity of punishment corresponding to the gravity of one's sin. Those who committed the most serious offenses face the harshest torment. Gatekeepers Jahannam is said to have guardians or keepers responsible for maintaining order and delivering punishment to its inhabitants. These guardians are depicted as stern and unrelenting. Punishments Apart from the physical torment of fire and intense heat, the inhabitants of Jahannam may also endure other forms of suffering, including thirst, hunger, and various types of torment that match their specific sins. Duration According to Islamic belief, the punishment in Jahannam is eternal for those who die in a state of disbelief and do not repent. However, Muslims who have committed sins but eventually seek forgiveness through Allah's mercy may experience temporary punishment in Jahannam, eventually entering paradise, Jannah. Warnings and deterrent The concept of Jahannam serves as a powerful warning in Islamic teachings. Believers are encouraged to lead virtuous lives, seek forgiveness, and avoid sinful behavior to evade the suffering of hell in the afterlife. Descriptions of Jahannam may vary among different Islamic traditions and schools of thought. While some descriptions may be metaphorical, the core belief remains that it is a place of punishment and suffering for those who reject the message of Islam and engage in sinful actions without repentance.